What's up, guys? It's Mark Twenty YT, and today we are explaining how to go twelve and zero. So right now, I'm on a budget. So there's three main ways to go twelve and zero. <laughs> One way is just your normal lineup, and then all <laughs> and then all bronze is on the bench like this. Usually you go into like an all diamond slash pink diamond team, and in this year's my team especially, um, when your players get tired, they honestly don't get too tired, so it's just it's just easy. No, I um this is this is one of this is probably my second best way to go twelve and zero. Um, the word the I say this one's the best. Wait. Let me fix up the lineup real quick. Um, I think this team is the best possible team to go 12 and 0 with. Um, it's a low overall, and and you have a bunch of buzzer players. Yeah, I think this exact lineup. Or if you want to go big, you can um put Macau Bridges in here, and he is a um. He has a, a dynamic duo with Dante Da Vinci, though, which his stats go up 99 defense to this, which is pretty good, especially when he's already amazing. And Macau Bridges goes to this. They both give really good stats. 93 speed, he has a 97 three-pointer, and Dante has a, what is it? 99 three-ball without shoes. And... He doesn't o raise your overall. That's what a good way to do it is. You can use dynamic duos, so he doesn't change it. So you could do it this way. And here, it's pretty decent. If like you just you pretty much play budget people as well. You'll run into Isaac Bonga a lot, George Morrison a lot. If you run to if you run to George Morrison, what you got to do is you um you if you click right on the D pad and then you click R two I think it is three times you can click focus player and then you would focus George Morrison and then every time he gets the ball in the paint it would either double team for you or you would just double team yourself and then you can just run the ball with Thon so you would keep him at the three point line. And just bait the three pointer, and if he comes out for the three, you drive him because his speed's a 25, I believe. Let me check that. He's a 26 three, yeah, can't do anything. His speed is a 25, yeah, while Thon is a 77. So he can just easily go right past him. And, yeah, this is also a good way to go 12 0. Um, a lot of YouTubers will probably show you this one. Just make sure every way you go, you gotta use a bronze bench. If you're not, it's just not gonna work. Another way to go 12 and 0 is this way, where it's all bronze, and then you can either use I like an opal or pink diamond shooting guard, and uh, sapphire George Morrison, and then a lot of people like to go with this Jonathan Isaac. Let me see if it changes the overall at all. It was a 78. I go with him. It stays the same. He's a really good budget card. I think he goes for 5k now because everyone is making videos about picking him up. He has a 76 three pointer, I believe. 76, yeah. If you want to, if you have a lot of MT, you can buy a shoe for him. And with your coach and everything. And you can green easily if you have the shot meter off. So, you can either do it like this, you can do it with just, um, Glenn Rice and George, or you can do just George, which is kind of harder. I, I suggest this way. And then, the last way to do it is you would use an all-bronze team, no one else, and then just... Get a friend online if you have any friends, which is probably unlikely because you're watching my videos. But did anyone but, ask? Um, 
you can Sir Mad Mini K Mini K Sir Prize Sir Sword Sir You You Sir Sword Sir You You Sir Sword Prime You Don't Say Sir Sword Prime You Don't Say Sir Sword Mini K Mini K You can tell your friend like okay let's match up into games both of you get like a 69 or 70 overall and you will count down three two one go and then you'll match up in the same game and then your friend the person that's not going 12 and 0 will close the application and then um come back in and go for another game and he don't he should not quit the game because then he'll get quit banned which is like you can't play a game for a certain amount of time when you get when you quit too much and it's just really annoying so just close the application and i'll show you um this method really quick this is a five man i'll show you this game i'm one and oh right now i haven't really been trying at all today it's not like i've been playing all day and losing on like my second game at all so if we go into a game here i'll just show you like who we're playing and i'll show you like the first quarter that's pretty much it so, we'll probably run into a diamond slash pink diamond team with maybe an amethyst bench if you're lucky. Sometimes you'll play an all amethyst team. And sometimes you'll play people like you with, like, all galaxy opals and then, like, a bronze bench as well. It's taking a long time to get a match. <laughs> so, if you watch, like, other people's YouTube videos, like, these are the main methods they're all showing you. And they're the easiest ways to go. Searching for matches still. And you could watch, like, videos, like, how to run offenses and, like, playbooks and everything. But for me, I don't usually run plays. I just go with my own offense. I think it works easier, in my opinion. But that's just me. So, okay, we got into a game. See this guy's overalls. He has. Oh shoot! Wait, I'm using an all bronze team. Oh, did not know that. Well, that's a rip in the chat. Hopefully, he was trying to match up with his friend. But I guess I'll just show you the all bronze. Well, I don't know. So if you don't get into a game with your friend and you're like 9 and 0 or whatever, you just have to play the game out. It's unlucky. But usually when you play people with all bronze teams, they're trying to match with their friends and then they just quit because they try to get into the game with them. But let's just see what happens. Yeah, he's probably going to quit here. Or do settings. One or the other. I think it's going to be settings, yeah. And the good bronzes to use are Luol King, Dean Wade, Isaac Bonga, because he can shoot the three. 3D. If you're going to use an all-bronze team and you're not trying to play with your friends, you got to have a good amount of skill in the game, so just stay aware. Like, I don't think this is the number one method, but it's definitely a method. <laughs> this Hamadio Diallo is actually pretty decent. It's also another card you can pick up. If you want to, you can also run a 2-3. Yep. Oh my god, it's lucky. That won't happen too much. So this PJ Dozier, he can actually shoot like semi decently. But sometimes you can get in the post like this. Tried that, but nope, it didn't work. <laughs> I'ma do a half court trap. Because usually these bronzes don't have... Well, I was not focused. 
Usually bronzes don't have much of a dribble, so it's kind of easy to strip it. You climb it, right? An easy dunk with Hamadio. <coughs> you can kind of tell like which cards have a shot and which ones don't. Like if you play with bronzes a lot and you feel them out. So then, if you know a card doesn't have a three pointer. You can just use, you can just, defensive three, okay. You can just sit in the paint with the, with them and just chill. So you can always get a double team when they drive in. And now I'm going to have my main score is Hamadou Diallo. But. This guy's an F three pointer. Pretty garbage. Gosh. A lot of the time you can post up with your center. You should try to use a tall center. <clears throat> but you don't have to. Shish. <clears throat> Good day. Get a bait bonga into a three. Should not be able to hit him. Welsh. Ian Wade, he is a three point god. Just be careful for that. On. You might as well honestly just quit the game because you are not going to beat him. Unless you're Ticino or Carlos Story. You just don't have a freaking chance at all. Unless you're bronzes or galaxy opals in disguise. So, as you can see, I'm up by 8. You'd like to put your bench in because it's bronzes, so it doesn't really matter. And you should be quitting here. Yep. I quit. So now I'm going to show you guys my um all opal, one pink diamond, and then bronze bench. So that's one way. In that way, you're going to get a lot of rage quits if they have an all bronze team. So, let's do that. I don't have any contracts, so I'm going to buy them like a dummy. So, if you're trying to do it quickly, and you have skill at the game, all bronzes. But, occasionally, you'll run into a George Morrison, and then you're completely screwed. But besides that, you're kind of fine. Let's see now. And... You can use no meter, that helps, but with bronzes it's hard for me to time, so I'll just keep it on. Yep, so this is a team that you do not want to go against. Glitch Giannis. Glitch Giannis, Opal DeMar DeRozan, Opal Mello, Pink, Be Diamond Ben Simmons. Yeah, Opal Hakeem. So, yeah. Yeah, he quit. I might go back to the method, honestly. <laughs> so, let's see. This guy. When they have opal tokens and, op like, these cards that you have to grind for, usually they're very good at the game. But hopefully I can get one that isn't. And if you're having trouble greening, always go back to no meter, but right now I'm going to keep it on. Oh my god, lucky. Right here, we have nothing to do against that. He's just going to get his way in easily. 
I'm gonna turn off my meter because I guess I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna miss a lot of light. Great, good start. Quit. Quit. Shit. I'm probably just turn this meter off as well. But I'm gonna have trouble against this Giannis. Ooh. Oh my god. Right when I get a steal. Oh my god, 18%. There we go. Okay, so here, I see that he's gonna, he's gonna drive in with Giannis every time. So, I'm gonna change double team parameter to on drive. So once he drives in with that big Giannis, it's gonna double team for me. Hopefully. Most of the time I will. But let's see what happens. So right here, go play some help D. Go over screens, user. Never reset screens if you off ball. Go to on ball for like a second. That's a bailout. Huh. Okay. On offense, against these teams, you want to just attack their weak point. But for this guy. He does not have one. Like, usually you can tell, like, if someone doesn't have Hall of Fame clamps, that's going to be your ticket to win. But for this guy, he has every card maxed out. I don't know. Danisel? Oh, he baited me hard. Back to it. Oh my god, bro. Ooh. No way. Thank you. This guy's getting everything. Oh, thank you. I'm having trouble finding offense here. Not green, but it's good. I'm making all my whites. Thank God the algorithm's with me. It's kind of deep. There we go. Always take advantage of that. <coughs> <coughs> Double team, there we go. Pick, I'm gonna on ball here. Oh my god, he got lucky. Let's see if I rim run this. Should be open. Let's go. Quit. These tryhards love their settings. He's gonna switch it to on drive double team, calling it. Let's see if I was right. Yep. Good double. There we go. What's a bad shot to go up? Damn, I didn't mean to pass to him. No way. Yes, sir. Switch with Glenn. Oh my god, Giannis's pants are off. Oh my god. Bro, I'm trying to keep this family friendly, man. Why are they doing this to me? Get dunked on! Hey. Okay, we're up to six. Surprise. This guy isn't blowing me out at this point. Look at that double team. We're back up to all this too deep. Oh my god. Giannis. Car is crazy. Backward? Oh, let's go. They're bound in the corner. The wilt? Corner? Please go in. Oh my god. Unlucky, mate. 
He's gonna shoot it. Yep, it's in. Ooh. Two for one here. Corner? Oh my god, man. Grab that, nice. Corner again? Green! He's cold. Let's go. Good D. Gonna try to post. Made him. Yep, I knew it. Oh, shit. Good D, Julius. Let's go! Up nine. Quit. Let's go! We got a quitter! Okay. There's an example for you guys. I hope you like um this video and leave down a comment if you think I should upload more of these type of videos. And maybe some more ways to go 12 and 0. Thank you for coming out. See you guys later. Goodbye.